So if you're a fan of Reason and a fan of Studio One and you'd like to use the two applications together, then this video is for you. We're going to take a look at using the rewire protocol within Studio One 3. And just a disclaimer, I've got several applications running all together here uh, due to the fact of doing a screen capture. So if there's any instability issues, then it's most likely due to that. Uh, as well as me having a really slow computer with only 4 gigs of RAM and a slow processor. So if there are any issues, then it's most likely due to that. Hopefully you won't have any of the same problems. Uh, a couple quick things about Rewire. This is going to allow you to use other applications or DAWs within Studio One 3. In this particular video, we're working with Reason, but you can also use uh, Bitwig, Ableton, FL Studio, and so on. Anything that's available to use with Rewire is going to show up in your instruments area here. And a bit about the Rewire uh, protocol is it allows streaming of separate audio channels for full bandwidth from Reason to your host. Uh, synchronization between the programs. This will synchronize your transport controls, loop locators, tempo, and time signature. Uh, according to the Reason manual, you're supposed to have up to 256 audio channels for if you're using Rewire version 2 although I've only been able to show 64 audio channels within Studio One available. And you also have bi-directional MIDI communication for up to 4,080 MIDI channels or 255 devices with 16 channels each. Now, uh, of course, I don't know anyone who would want to use that many, but in theory, that's supposed to be what Rewire 2 is capable of. Now let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first you want to start your host application, Studio One 3 here for our instance. And then we want to come to Instruments and then Rewire. Whatever you have on your system that is Rewire capable is going to show up listed below within the folder. I only have Reason. So we then want to go ahead and drag that into our Arrange and I'll go ahead and F5 and close out the browser. Now we have a couple of different settings. By default, the allow tempo signature changes is activated. And this will allow you to change the tempo and time signature within either application that you have open. And it's going to reflect in the other one. So it syncs those two together. If you enable the multiple MIDI outputs, then that's going to take advantage of that feature that I just mentioned about all those different MIDI channels that you can have available. Uh, you have a power for deactivating, rewire, and then we have a section here for activating audio channels. And by default, you have basically channel one and two, a stereo mix coming from your rewire application. Any additional channels that you want to add, you can select these boxes. And I'm going to go ahead and activate a number of channels here. And this will make sense in the future. I think I'll do 18 is what I need. And then as long as your application supports it, we can use the open application button here. You also have close. So I'll go ahead and click that. And this will then open up Reason as a slave application to Studio One. Now we're going to get an error message here saying that the MIDI is unavailable. This makes sense because Studio One is using our MIDI controller. So we just click OK. And so now we have Reason running within Studio One 3. And I'm going to get rid of this here. And let's just take a look at this. If I Go ahead and press the space bar, start playback. We'll open up Reason. We can see that Reason has started. Also, if I adjust our loop locators and turn the loop function on, I'll open up Reason. You can see that Reason has adjusted its loop locators as well. I'll play back. And you can see that both of these are in sync. I'll stop. Now Studio One has created an instrument track 
rewire applications work similar to VST instruments and you can see it's labeled as reason and we want to select reason here as our output source and then this second box is going to allow you to choose an instrument within the reason application we haven't loaded in any instruments so it's not showing up here and that's why so what we want to do is come to reason and let's bring in an instrument that we can then trigger by using Studio One. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the sequencer there and I will bring in say a Maelstrom and by default when you bring this in if I tab around to the back we can see that the Maelstrom is going to a mix device here and the mix device is then routed to the master section. The master section is on 1 and 2. That 1 and 2 corresponds to, I'll F3 and bring up the mixer, it corresponds to this mix left and right. This is the only channel that will be created once you launch, launch Reason with the rewire application. These other ones were created when I selected those checkboxes. If you don't select those check checkboxes, then these will not be here, only this first one. So that mouse room that we just created is going to be on this channel. If I play my MIDI keys, first I need to, now that we have that instrument created, choose Vesper. This will send the MIDI, our MIDI information to the mix channel. We don't want that. We want the Vesper. That's that, the default patch that loads in Maelstrom. So we want to choose that. Now when I play my MIDI keyboard, we can see that um, the Maelstrom is being triggered from Studio One 3. Now something that's important to keep in mind when you're working uh, with these two applications together, now as I mentioned, in theory you're supposed to have up to 256 audio channels. I've only seen 64 within my particular situation. The way that we access those is that you need to tab and flip around here. Um, and really, we need to disconnect this master section. So this master section here, we want to get rid of that. If you would like to have multiple instruments within Reason and send those out on separate audio channels, if you're fine with just one instrument and one stereo pair, then you can leave it as it is. But if you want to use multiple instruments and multiple audio channels, you're going to want to disconnect this master section. And then we can take the direct out from that mix device and connect it there. And we've got our audio in that way. So, and this is so that if I wanted to bring in, say, a Thor, and I'll expand out that mix device, I'll take these direct outs, send it to three and four, and then let's come back to Studio One. I'll F3 and close out that console, and press T to create an instrument track. I'll call this Thor. Okay. We want to choose Reason. And Epic Poly is the default patch that loads for Thor. We'll choose that. And now, if I open up the console again, you'll see that the Thor is coming on channel two and three. If I double click this here, we get this uh, rewire application. I'll click this where we activated these and these are what I activated. So that's how we can separate our audio channels with different instruments within Reason and into uh, Studio One Three. Now unfortunately these are showing up, the left and right are showing up on two different channels here. 
so two different mono channels. Unfortunately, I have not seen a way to create a stereo and have them both go there. So that's pretty unfortunate. Maybe there's a way to do that. If, if you know how, then go ahead and leave a comment so that the rest of us can know. But that is how you're then going to create separation between the instruments so that they're not all coming on one stereo channel. So if I come back to Reason, I will go, come to Instruments, and let's bring in a Kong. And actually, I want to, I'm going to delete that out, delete all in group, because I want to mention that if I hold down Shift while I drag in the Kong, it's just going to bring that instrument in without a mix device. So if I tab back around, there are no connections that are made. I can then take the main audio out, or you could take these individual audio outs, and we can drag that up to, what are we on here? Five and six. So we've routed the main out from the Kong to channels five and six. If I come here, F3 and close the console. I'll T to create a new track. We'll call this Kong. And this is, we're going through the same process that we did with the first two. We want to choose Reason. And we want the Kong kit. And now I can use the pads on my controller. To trigger that Kong. And if I F3 and bring up the console, we can see that it's on channel five and six within the console here, separate from our Maelstrom and or separate from our Thor and separate from our Maelstrom. So you're beginning to see how this makes sense here, how we can separate our audio channels out. We can then use effects and mixing within Studio One Three uh, and apply those to our instruments within Reason. I'll F3 and go ahead and close out the console and let, let's, I'm going to come back to the beginning. I'm going to record, actually take the loop off and start recording. I'll go ahead and stop. Now, we are triggering our instruments within reason with the MIDI from Studio One Three, but what if we want to bounce that down to an audio track within Studio One Three? What we can do is right click on this MIDI part and we can then bounce to new track. And now I'll solo this, come back to the beginning, playback. And we now have our audio from Reason bounce down to an audio event within Studio One Three that we can actually, probably this would be preferred to apply effects to because this is gonna be much more stable to go ahead and have the audio in the pool within Studio One Three. And we don't have to worry about any problems or issues because now it's a part of the Studio One song file and rendered down as an audio file. To me, this is just much more cleaner and uh, less prone to any problems. Now, before I go any further, I want to make sure that you're aware of something that's really important. If we come to our options and then advanced tab, the audio tab, you want to be sure that release audio device in background is deselected. If you have that selected, whenever you bring up reason, you're going to lose your audio. And um, it's just cleaner to have this off. That way, Studio One always has control of your audio device, and you're not going to have any dropouts of audio when you're moving between the two applications. I'll cancel out. So this seems great and everything, but who wants to go through setting all of this up every time that you want to work with these two together? Um, and that's an understandable thing. What you can do is you could save a template within Studio One that has the channels activated that you want to have 
Um, so you can activate all that you need, save it as a template, and then those will always be active. And within Reason, Reason only allows us to have one default template. And I'm sure most of us don't want to have a rewire template. Say if we want to use Reason in standalone mode, then we're going to open up that rewire template and we're not using another host application. What you can do is save your setup as a song and then open that song whenever you're working with these two applications together and then come to file and save as and then start working on your new song and in this way you don't have to you can create a setup that you'd like within reason uh, to work with Studio One Three. and let me show you what I mean I will I've saved a setup called rewire here on my desktop I'll go ahead and open that up I'm going to close this one I may have some problems here we'll see and what I've done I'll F3 and close out that browser I have I'll tab back around I've routed individual audio outs I've mapped the pads or not map them but uh so say pad one here is on output three and four pad two is five and six and so on so each of these pads has a different output and I save this setup so that I don't have to reroute it when I want to use it with Studio One. And then I can then come in and save this as, say, the song name that you're currently working on. And then this way you won't mess up the settings that you've done in your kind of template, your faux template that we've got here. If I come to, I hope this is making sense here. If I open up the console, and we want reason, column kit. Now I just want you to see that these pads are all separated out. So they have their own channels and unfortunately again they're separated out over two but I haven't seen a way to work around that. But this is just one way that you can go ahead and make your connections how you'd like to have it set up within reason and then not have to redo it every time you want to use rewire with Studio One Three. Another thing to that I want to mention is that again with all of these channels that we can activate up to 64 within reason this more auto is important because if I tab back around as it is we only have 16 audio outputs and so how are we going to get to the whole 64? We want this more audio. Click that. And now we have access to our 64. And you can continue to add instruments and just route them to these uh, 64 outputs. And then when you're in Studio One, they're going to correspond to these 64. OK, so I hope everything makes sense here especially with kind of creating your own faux template uh, I feel like I got a little convoluted with that uh, just leave a comment if you have any questions and hope that this all works out for you if you want to use both of these two together and I will see you in the next video